Hello, and welcome to Mists of Time Emporium. I'm Joni, and today we'll be looking at one of my vintage decks, The Witch's Runes, and it's in this old tattered box, because I love these cards. It's by Silver Ravenwolf and Nigel Jackson, and I absolutely love Nigel Jackson's work. And the back of the cards are beautiful. This is a small, a very smart small deck because it's the runes. It comes with this runes mystery companion and I just want to read a little something in the preface. Uh, actually not in the preface, in the um, first chapter, Fire and Frost. Harmonious balance between opposite energies lies at the heart of the runic philosophy. To the ancient northern peoples, this was seen in the intermingling of fire and frost. Fire is the power of expansion, heat, and active force, whereas ice is the element of freezing, contraction, and calm force. In the turning of the seasons, through summer warmth and winter chill, the interplay between fire and frost underlies all our life experience. So I absolutely love this book. Um, each card comes with the tree association, color, totems, treasures, divinity, and stones. Then they give you some lore. Then they give you the meaning of the cards and keywords and then a reversed meaning. Um, and then the magical powers and applications. So while the deck is small, it is mighty. So let's take a look at these cards. Again, I just absolutely love the artwork. It's so powerful. And then of course the rune is here. I'm gonna apologize for any noises you hear in the background. There's a lot of construction going on across the creek there. So again, Nigel Jackson's artwork is very distinctive. And so there's a lot of symbolism in these cards. And they will tell you in the booklet why all of these symbols are included. Again, a very small but very meaningful, very powerful deck. I think we all recognize Thor's hammer there. So you can feel the difference in the cards, whether they're, they're the fire or the frost elements. Because one is very green and alive, and the other is very cool and frosty. So these images are all relative to the northern peoples, how they lived and what their world looked like. And I love that. We're gonna have lots of noises going on today. I can here but we'll just go with the flow that's best to do right now with these energies you know that full moon eclipse and the planetary energies that we are in right now it's really important to be adaptable and flexible and there we have odin so let's do i'm going to do a quick shuffle Sorry if that's really noisy, actually. I'm just going to shuffle these a few times because they are fairly random. They aren't in order from the book. I don't, I don't want to shake the table too much, but we'll do some overhand. So let's just call for a message for the collective today. What message from our highest guides would we like for the collective today? Okay, we have, 
Oh, Odin and the horse. So let's, these are my reindeer antler runes. I purchased these from a Nordic witch. She actually lives in Norway. Um, she creates these runes and she is a very, very powerful uh, witch. Uh, she identifies as a witch and she lives in harmony with nature and okay so there's our rune and then we'll just take a little time today oh, no, that's, I bet you're seeing it and I'm not oh here we are okay so we have our runes this by the way is a birch this is a very traditional it's a vintage cup birch they carved they are drinking cups out of birch and then this is also inlaid with reindeer horn so the reindeer are a very very important part of native sami life those are native northern peoples you know predominantly scandinavian the people that live way up in the north uh, reindeer is very important to them this is an etched this again is an antique reindeer bone and reindeer antler and these are sami symbols so I have these items and relate to these items because I do have the Scandinavian heritage and I feel that it is the, the elements of my ancestors. So let's look in our book and see what it says about these runes. So 33, page 33, right off the bat, that's a sacred number, so we're Okay, so the trees are ash and hazel. The totems are raven and adder, which is the snake here. I hope I have these in camera. I do. Um, and the stone is lapis lazuli. I love that they give the um, stones associated as well. So this rune card signifies intellectual activity and the pursuit of knowledge or inspiration which Odin did when he hung on the tree and received his gifts of the runes. Um, and it can be a quest for inner knowledge and the mysteries and hidden secrets that await within yourself. So planning carefully and divine wisdom are the keywords for this card. Uh, it says when Asa appears in a reading, Listen closely to those around you. Someone ha may have wise counsel or perhaps interesting and useful information that will come to light. So now let's look at this rune and see how these runes are, are working together. Okay. So this is movement through partnership. So again, these cards are already, you can see how they work together with um, knowledge that can come from someone else. The stone associated with this card is turquoise. The trees are the alder and ragwort. And it is definitely a horse rune. The rune of sacred trust and cooperative action. That's really important. And it's motion, so forward motion by cooperation. So again, these two cards really working well together, indicating that it's additive to us to be in partnership and listening to the wisdom of others, and that will help propel us forward as well. Thank you for joining me today to look at these gorgeous cards, these meaningful cards. The runes are very meaningful. Um, as is, you know, the divinatory, divinatory practices that we pursue. So we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.